We are at 10617 East Plata Avenue in Mesa. We're in Santa Rita Ranch. And this particular property is 1,880 square feet. The neighbors are having a birthday party next door. As you go around the neighborhood, it's in pretty good condition. A bit of sunshine there. Now, this particular property does have some grass in the front. But other than that, there is some zero scape on the sides. Most of the trees are shedding the winter. On this side, it looks like we've got a box that needs to be attached to the wall. And somebody's leftover table. At first, I thought it was a screen from the windows, but it looks like it's just a table that needs to be removed or a glass top. It was built in the year 2000. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths. It has a lovely little entrance patio area. It seems to be in good shape. The trim could definitely use some paint. Especially here, there's a little bit of a patch, a little bit of patchwork that needs to be done. And this is a real nice walkway into the back there is a double gate. Anyways, we walk in. Now the property is on about 6,460 feet. Lot size, that is. And this particular property, like I was saying, is 1,880 square feet. This is the living room. It's rather quaint without a light outlet or light and wiring so a, a floor lamp will need to be um, used in this particular room. The wood flooring is in great shape and the blinds are working really nice. Uh, they're not there doesn't seem to be any problems with them. One thing that I think is nice about this um, house is it has some very nice floorboards. The floorboards are probably at least five inches and that's fairly rare in track homes. It goes into the family room that's 15 and a half by 11. This particular blind does not come down. It, won't, it doesn't operate properly, that is. Uh, the fan is a nice fan with a light um, combination. Three windows that are buckling on the inside. This is the worst of the three, but all of them will need some repair, it looks like. Just really, really nice to see these floorboards here. The carpet is in excellent con condition. Um, the stairs may need to have a little bit of touch up, uh, but overall the, the carpet is great condition. Now, in, the, in between the two rooms, um, there's a little bit of a strip here that is starting to peel uh, here and here. I'm not really sure that might need to be replaced or repainted. Into the kitchen, the kitchen being 12 by 8 in the dining area with the blind, or actually it's a the vertical that works pretty good, a basic light package. And then into the kitchen area, it is 8 by 10. So it doesn't really have a separation, but as you can tell, it feeds into it and whatever size table fits for their needs, whoever lives here, would be fine. Now this dishwasher doesn't seem to have any major issues. Uh, it looks like it's been used, definitely. It's not rusting in any way. The countertops seem to be in wonderful condition. And the sink is in pretty good condition. The underneath the sink does look like it has had a little bit of water damage. And I'm not really sure if that's just because somebody put something in there and they didn't 
doesn't look like it's just totally worn away, but there are some spots there. This blind does work. It's in working order. The, the cabinets are basic. They're, they're nothing fancy, but they're, they're in good shape. The stove does need some attention. Uh, the, there are no racks, and they don't have any of their little covers either. And then, of course, there's not a refrigerator or a microwave, as you can see. Now, as we go into the powder room, or what I consider the powder room, or half bath, this particular room is five by five and a half with a basic sink, pedestal sink. And this blind here is in good working order. Very basic light package. And the door seems to be in good shape, but the door across this particular restroom does have some patching on, done on it. There was a hole there. And this happens to be, is definitely a pantry, I guess. Sorry, I got, I needed to tell you that this flooring here has not been done all the way to the end. So that's maybe a concern. That could probably be fit, filled in very nicely. Okay, I'm going into the garage. There's no light. See this button here. There's a gas water heater and there is some shelving. Now this, because there is no light, I have cropped it, but I'll come around here and you can see that we do have some storage shelving here that is rather interesting. Oh, there is a cutout here. And it looks like it's for storage. Whether that will need to be patched or not, that would definitely be something you'd want to take in consideration. It's a nice big backyard. Trees that are definitely mature. These back two trees here are lemon trees. They seem to be quite prolific. And this is the side that I was telling you about that has the double gate. And this particular uh, back patio is without a cover. So. Could be, could need some paint trim. There's a hard to tell with that light glaring off of it but there are a couple of areas on the the windows that look like there needs to be some patching there has been an area over here that has been patched and will need to be painted and then around the way around the corner where the air conditioning unit is there is a, a gouge that has gone straight through to the wiring other than that, the yard is quite nice. And there's a huge slab of concrete. Trees could be trimmed, as you can tell here. Up the stairs is in pretty good shape. I, I can only see a couple of spots where maybe it could use a little bit of cleaning. But overall, it's in great shape. Now, as we come up into this area, we do have a large loft. This loft is 10 and a half by 27, and the fan is in good condition. We have four windows. One is you're coming up, two that are right together, and one at the end does not have any window treatment on it, and the other three do work. You go into the laundry room. In this particular laundry room, is four and a half by five and a half. It got lost. Just basic shelving. Linoleum. 
and then linoleum in the hall bath. Okay, and this hall bath is five by eight. Very basic. Very basic sink. No leaks that I can see. Carpet, as you can tell, is in great shape. So we're going into the first bedroom to the left that's 10 by 14 and a half. It has a nice fan, the, the blind works. This closet is just a sliding door. It isn't split, it's just all the way across. There are some areas here where there could be some texturing done. The doors are very basic. I don't seem to have any concerns other than the one downstairs. Smoke detector. We go into the second room, and in between there is a closet for linens, possibly, or storage. This particular room has a blind as you walk in, a basic light, like it doesn't work today, and so there is electrical, and then two windows that do not have any window treatment on them at all. And this particular room is 10 by 11 and a half. Same type of closet with the rail all the way across, just basic doors and of course another smoke detector. There are some wiring here for TV, looks like. And then into the master bedroom. Our master bedroom is a, a basic fan and light package. They're actually in pretty good condition. This particular Blind does not come down at all, just like the downstairs family room one. This master bedroom is 12 and a half by 15 and a half. Going to the master bath, and the master bath is 5 by 11 and a half. The garden tub is very well, it looks like it's a little bit dirty here. It needs to some scrubbing, but just a real basic package. We do have some water sediment on this shower head. It may need to be replaced. Some holes. Looks like we've got some toggle bolts or something in here that have been taken down with some shelving, maybe. Okay, our closet here is Oh, we've got a five and a half by eight closet. Carpet's still in really good condition. Looks like we have an attic um, entrance. And then just a real basic closet. One sink. Cabinet seem to be in decent shape. Just one little water spot here. Looks like there may have been a little bit of a, a leak, but I don't see evidence of a leak here. And then private restroom, of course. Thank you for joining us on another video tour. We are Ron and Christina Wilczek, Metro Phoenix Homes. Feel free to give us a call at 480-445-9480 or see us on the web at metrophoenixhomes.com. Thanks and have a blessed day.